Hi, my name is Jim Roy, former PGA and Champions Tour player. I'm here in Syracuse, New York at my home course, Bellevue Country Club. And in this video, I'm going to help you pure your iron shots. One of the biggest problems I see in my teaching is the inability for a lot of students to hit down on the golf ball. They're constantly trying to help the ball in the air. I see swings where they're back here like this, and they're always trying to lift it. Well, if you watch all the tour pros, both in the LPGA and on the PGA Tour, they are doing the exact opposite. They're hitting the ball with a descending blow. So hopefully in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips and suggestions and a couple drills that might help you compress the ball better and hit pure iron shots. So, one of the things I see people do all the time is they get up to the top of their swing and they've got a real active right leg. And it, a lot of times it spins right out where this heel now has gone backwards and their whole center of gravity is back here and they don't have any chance at all to make a descending blow. So one of the things that have helped my students and me too is to hit some balls where we're gonna angle our right foot, we're gonna flare it out which kind of is going to soften this right leg and quiet it down. It's going to help you feel like your upper body can stay more stacked over your lower body. So try this out. Flare this foot. You're going to feel like you're able to keep your upper body over the ball more. Start out with some little shots like this. You can see I'm finishing good into my left side hitting down on the golf ball and my right leg hasn't done a lot of crazy moves to get me off my off my center here. So let's do another one. Angling the right foot back, you're going to get a good sensation that you can keep your center on the golf ball as you turn through the shot. And you can see I'm hitting down on the golf ball with a nice divot. Another thing I see with my students is they're always making practice swings and they're never hitting the ground. And I think in this game we become what we practice. So I think it's important that you start making some practice swings and take a divot out front. So if I've got a shaft here perpendicular to my target line, even with this golf ball, when I'm making a practice swing, I need to be able to brush the grass in front of this of, in front of this shaft. So it's in front of the golf ball. The divot doesn't start at the ball, it starts on the target side of the ball. So make your practice swings where you're brushing the grass in front of the golf shaft. Okay? That's really, really important. So I have this shaft down here. I'm going to hit a couple shots where I'm going to get forward. Okay? So if you zoom in here, you'll see that my little divot here started in front of the shaft, which means I had a descending blow on the ball. So this is a good drill for people who struggle taking a divot, is put a golf shaft right there in line with a golf ball. I also have a tee behind this ball in the ground, basically a club head length behind it. That's going to give you another visual that you want to be able to get that club descending into that golf ball in front of that tee, okay, to help you hit down on the ball. So let's hit another one. Right foot's going to be quieter. I'm going to feel like I'm forward and able to turn through the shot, hitting the golf ball first. Again, if you look here, there's where the, the shaft pointed to. You can see both of those divots started in front of the golf ball. So try these tips and these drills and see if you can start compressing the golf ball, get a little more distance and accuracy. Okay? If you like this video, press the like button. We'd love to hear a comment too to see what other topics we can discuss. And subscribe to the website because there's a lot of videos on there too.